Swedish football is all about the fans. Other countries have ignored supporters' discontent with the use of video assistant referees, or VAR. But here, clubs must be at least 51% owned by their supporters. And they voted not to have VAR in the Swedish Allsvenskan. I think it spoils football and VAR isn't as reliable as people think. I don't like it. It takes away all the joy from football. There should never be VAR in Sweden, not as long as I go to matches. A major complaint about VAR is the long wait for decisions and the dampening effect on goal celebrations. Swedish fans don't often agree with the referee, but they've decided that atmosphere, not accuracy, is more important. Watching a game in Sweden is a bit like stepping back in time. When the ball goes in the net, you generally know straight away if it's a goal. But you can celebrate without any anxiety. The recent use of VAR at the Euros has not made it more popular, with many decisions baffling fans and players alike. But Sweden is still the only country in Europe to reject it. I have played with it and I've, played, I've talked with players who play with it and general feeling is not that good. Of course we have to like have the decency and respect towards our fans that we that they can decide if we should have VAR because they are paying for the tickets to come to watch the game. Stopping play for slow motion analysis looks set to continue outside Sweden, however. Last month, English club owners overwhelmingly voted to keep VAR, despite two-thirds of fans opposing it. Norway introduced it this year, leading to supporters disrupting matches in protest. Football is it's so complex. There, I mean, there is so many situations that are not black or white. You can line up 10 experts on that and you'll have all kinds of views on it. Who is football for? What is the most important part? Is it to achieve perfect justice or is it to deliver this arena for, or, or for emotions? For those dreading VAR in Europe's top flights this season, there's probably only one long-term solution move to Sweden. Paul Rees, Al Jazeera, Stockholm. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.